So good afternoon, dear friends. So uh, I always introduce about the Mesa Law in China. But this time, after talking with the friends, with the visitors, I changed the topic to hydrogen and fuel cell and the Mesa Law. So I will show you something which you might never see where else, only in China. So I have a question in the beginning. Is hydrogen the same to fuel cell? Yes or no? It's a good question. Somebody think fuel cell is hydrogen. So the question is, is methanol reformed fuel cell also fuel cell? Nobody say no. It is. It may be, but who say it's a really fuel cell? And then come the question, is methanol refueled fuel cell vehicle also a fuel cell vehicle? It's hydrogen inside, so it's difficult to say yes because we are all working on pure hydrogen vehicle. Here, you could see there is hydrogen. There is methanol. So, let's see next page. Then, your answer might be yes. It could be also a fuel cell vehicle. This is 2001 from Daimler. They had make this Leica 5 almost ready to the market. They just take around 40 liters. It's a small car. It could range around 400 kilometers. And it, in this methanol, there is energy, there is hydrogen for about five kilograms. So methanol hydrogen vehicle, it is, it was, and it is still possible for vehicle. But now, look at this truck. This is a typical truck in China. In China has more than 200,000 pieces was sold every year, this kind of truck. For this truck, if you want it to be fuel cell vehicle, you should put three tanks here. It works. In China, there's more than 2,000 vehicles with tank three tanks here, 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 and they could run around 400 kilometers. What we do, we have 200 liter a tank with methanol, but it's only 30 kilowatt, it still could run 500 kilometers. If you see, fuel cell vehicles still have distance to normal truck, then what we do, we could increase the capacity from 200 to 300 liter. You have pre-mixed water and methanol, you could reach 700 kilometers. It's not a big distance. You just need to do it. It's possible. So how it is possible? You take this methanol, you evaporate it, you give some heat there, you get the hydrogen here with the reformer. So the hydrogen comes from the methanol. The hydrogen go to the, temp go to the stack, the hydrogen coming out. And you don't waste any of the hydrogen. You don't need the hydrogen circulation. You just rebend it and you get heat. The heat is used for the reformer. So everything is a kind of cooperation, is a kind of optimization. So still there you have fuel cell, you have hydrogen, you have electricity, you have green. So it's a fuel cell vehicle. So I take this picture. This is a normal ICE. This is a battery. This is a fuel cell. This is very famous triangle. Go left or go right. Go to pure battery or go to pure fuel cell. It's not so easy to answer. Maybe now Volkswagen say, I go a little bit more to battery. Maybe Toyota say, I go a little bit more to fuel cell. But you see, Mesano is in the middle. Mesano could be used for range extender, for hydrogen, and also Mesano could be also bent. Mesano could be easily added to the ECM motor. You could bend Mesano, and it's also less CO2 emission. So this is 
traditional, this is quite a new one. Mesano is in the middle. It's perfect in the middle. So we still have a lot of work to our Mesano. Go to traditional, go to the traditional, go to the one, but you have Mesano in the middle. So in China, this kind of Mesano filling station is already more than 40 pieces. There is more than 10,000 taxis. They use traditional ECE. They, they use the engine motor. This one is the Mesano delivery truck. If you need Mesano, just like in Europe, you need to heat oil. You make a phone call. Somebody drive to you. If you need one ton, two tons, just give them a call. They will deliver the Mesano to your home, to your station, to your logistic center. So it's easy. It's already there. This is a, a picture for taxi fleets. They use Mesano. So Mesano is there for traditional ICEs. There is the motor, the engine. It's not so big difference. It could be used Mesano as new energy. And this is picture. This is a picture taken from a restaurant in China. This bottle is a plastic, and this Chinese means pure methanol for hot pot car and bicycle, not for drink. And you take, you take this, you cook it, and you could use methanol for cooking. The fire you see with methanol, it makes productivity. In Chinese restaurant, if you have work in one hour, if you use natural gas, you cook only 28. If you use methanol, you could cook 32. This is productivity. This is welcome for the cooker in the restaurant. And this is a very simple one. With this 30 euro product, you replace all the coke in China. Coke is dirty. It's difficult to make it burn. And then you have methanol. You could get heat, you could cook in. This is a bigger one for the boilers. So you see, it's everywhere possible with methanol to be used in the knife for heat. So we define methanol as clean energy because you could directly bend them or you make some chemical processing. You could get a chemical DME also for the diesel mixer. You could have DMFC or you have fuel cell. Methanol is very close to hydrogen. You see, you have methanol, you make a reformer, and you get a different method to purify the hydrogen, or you directly like this methanol go to higher temperature pan. This is not all. You still have another possibilities. In this exhibition hall, there is also other technology they could use different way to remove the CO and combine the methanol and fuel cells. So again, beautiful picture. Lake R3, Lake R5. You see, here is all the parts for 70 kilowatt. 70 kilowatt, what means that? Toyota today, how much? You need only a 40, another 40 liter. You could range 400 kilometers. If you use tank, how many big tank you need? At least two. And what's the pressure? Here is liquid, normal temperature. The advantage for methanol is lower emission, still emission there. In compared to natural gas battery, methanol is low. We had calculated in China, if you want to have lower emission, you must reduce the power plant with coke because the electricity has also emission. Methanol is better for pure electrical by emission. Again, it's cheap. We have compared methanol with diesel, with pure electrical electricity, with uh, methanol and pure hydrogen. It's very clearly, methanol is cheap. Methanol is also safe. It's not so dangerous. It's not for drink, but
but it's compared to diesel and petrol with gasoline, it's safe. Don't drink it. Keep it there for 100 years. Methanol is there. It's together with hydrogen. China has more than 60% capacity for methanol production. So it, that's the reason why it's so cheap, methanol, in China. 1.6 ton coal could be one ton methanol. So you could see how cheap it could be. Here is uh, one data from Methanex, the biggest methanol company in Canada. They estimated that uh, in China, there will be MTO projects. And we expected if we use methanol for fuel cell, the amount may be even big. So here, another question. Why there are not so many friends for methanol? Methanol is good, right? But we don't have so many friends. OK, CO2. Everybody could say, for methanol, you have CO2. It's not clean, right? OK, it's right. But again, what will happen if methanol is made by CO2? If you get methanol by reduction of CO2, it's still green or not? Good question. Yeah. How to make it green and how to make it step by step? First of all, you have some samples. For the steel mill, you make some burning. You say, I have some gas. I don't use it. I burn it. We could use it for methanol. You reduce. You use CO to get methanol. OK? You could also use CO2 to get methanol. This is in Iceland. They use uh, thermal, air thermal to get electricity and get hydrogen, and then they get methanol. So step two. Let's see the third one. You see, this is the city uh, waste. In the city, if you remove this, it takes energy. You need the depony, you need the places. How could you do? You could change them whatever the combination, you make them to be methanol. Again, you have every crazy project. This is from Beer Guides. He had supported in the desert area to put a lot of funds to collect the CO2 from the air. There is also a project by Google. They take the CO2 from the seawater. So you see, Till now, you could see here is CO2 everywhere in the air, in the water. It should be green. This is today. The oil is important. The oil is expensive. You take the oil, you put it in the ship, send it to China, to Japan, everywhere. What could be in the future? In the future, you see a lot of solar parks wind parks, wind farm, and what do you do? You could take CO2 from water, you could take CO2 from the air, and you just need a truck. Maybe you take this truck, deliver CO2 there, and take methanol back. The ship, the pipeline, everything is possible. So for us, we need the support from electrolyzer. We need hydrogen. If we have hydrogen, then we have green methanol. This is concept of energy, energy storage. In minutes, hours, days, for battery, you several hours. If you use redox battery, it's a little bit price lower, but it's also less than months. So you have hydrogen, you don't affect it to save hydrogen for years. But with power to gas, you make it possible to storage the hydrogen a little bit longer. And then, if you make a power to methanol or hydrogen to methanol, it's easy. Years, decades, 
maybe hundreds of years. This is the concept in the future. It could be together with hydrogen to save the energy. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Wolfgang Chen. Any questions? <laughs> Are there any questions from the audience? Yes. Yeah, please. You have explained a lot of advantages of methanol over hydrogen. Is there any disadvantage using methanol in fuel cells as compared to hydrogen? For disadvantage of methanol is um, it is still not so many people invested in the technology. Daimler, for example, they had done 20 years ago, and they are influenced by somebody. Maybe they have a little bit of technical problem, but we had to show the way how to make it possible. So it was there, people there, but people stopped to research further on it. So my speak here is to ask people, focus on it, just the change in the mind here is quite important because many people are hiding here. This is the big disadvantage. There is no enough explain that if you have methanol reduction of CO2, it will change. Okay. Thank you very much. We have another question here. Ulrich Walter. Um, maybe I missed it in the beginning of your, your presentation, but I saw in the last slide uh, that you say methanol uh, um, production is cheaper than the pure hydrogen production. Uh, it's much cheaper. Could you explain that once again or, or just... Why it is going to be possible? Because hydrogen, you need a higher pressure tank. You need a transport of the hydrogen. It's very expensive to storage hydrogen, to product. You need methanol, methanol need hydrogen. As soon as you get hydrogen, you convert it to methanol. You save the cost for the later parts. So it makes it cheaper. So the storage is the Storage cheaper. and the transport. Further questions from the audience? Okay. Thank you very much. It was very interesting, and you can see, tell by the questions that it is, is not something everybody's aware of. Okay, thank so, you. Um, if you have further questions or if you want to discuss a topic, the booth is right here in the back. It's E63, and yeah. he will be available for further questions. Thank you very much, thank Wolfgang you. Chen. Okay, thanks.